Warning, Kingdom Death contains mature content, be it in its story themes and or its uh, images. Uh, while these videos may, while videos involving Kingdom Death Monster may not contain in specifically mature content in them, the game does, and thus if these videos generate interest for it, you will, you've been warned that that is what it will lead to. If this does not bother you, please enjoy the video. Thank you. Hello everyone, and welcome to this board game overview for Kingdom Death Monsters Dung Beetle Knight Expansion's General Components. Now, first off, I want to get to the larger things before I get to the smaller things all zoomed in. We've got the instruction manual, which um, doesn't take too well to fingerprints for future reference. And three sprues of miniatures along with the whoops, various base parts for them. Primarily, the miniatures are split by this one being the Dung Beetle Knight and the Ball, which is its own miniature. And then two miniature or two sprues making up the various weaponry and the two armor kits, um, or two models worth of armor kits for the Dung Beetle Knight armor, or as it's referred to, the rolling armor. But with that said, let's get on to the closer stuff. Next up, we have the only location for this expansion, the Wet Resin Crafter, which is used for various things that make up the armor itself, as well as a couple weapons and other items. Then, a pair of dividers for the Dung Beetle Knight's cards itself and the gear, as they say. Speaking of said gear, there's a total of 34 gear cards, with 30 normal ones and 4 rare ones. Now, I do want to point out something real quick. Some of these are actually double-sided, because these are the calcified items, which are something unique to this expansion. Next, we have the Rolling Armor Complete Set bonus card, and this is just the female armor in a grayscale, unlike a normal color one. And on the other side, because it has multiple pieces for certain spots, it lists what can be used for it. Next, we have the two fighting arts, and one secret fighting art, two innovations, the one new terrain, which is not a flat piece this time. It is actually a ball in itself, or a miniature. It's the Dung Resin Ball. Three new tactics cards, which are a new type of card for some of the expansions, specifically the Knight ones, I believe. Now on to stuff specifically for the Dung Beetle Knight itself, starting with its basic action card, its 41 different AI cards, 24 hit locations, including what look like a lot of super dense locations, seven specific hunt events, 11 monster resource cards, and finally, the five strange resource cards. All right, everyone, I hope this was helpful. If it was, feel free to press the like button. If you think, you, if you think it will help somebody else, feel free to share this video. If you don't think this video was helpful, go ahead and press the dislike button, but please leave a constructive comment as to why. Also, if you want, if you want to leave a comment in general, feel free to. If you want to see more like this, be it more board game overview videos, my unboxing videos, or my painting videos, feel free to subscribe. Regardless, thank you for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.